Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching. So today's video is going to be my March update for my Pandos Eyeshadows Challenge. So let's begin. So I just did my February update almost two weeks ago. But despite that, I, because I changed my rules, now my goal is to hit side pan on all of my quintet. I feel a bit more invigorated because I have like a specific goal because before I just wanted to increase the pan but now since I want to hit side pan I feel a bit more um, enthusiastic with panning my eyeshadows so I'm quite excited to show you guys my my progress in almost two weeks because I definitely hit side pan on some of my quintet okay so let's first start with my going coconuts um, eyeshadow palette which is also my panda palette and a part of the quintet here is Shellier. I always use Shellier every day but still there's no like visible progress I'm focusing more here on this side because it's like it has the least amount of product but still it's a matte shadow for me I it, it's hard to hit pan on matte shadows, especially for Shellier because the formula isn't really the best. But yeah, Shellier, it's this one and it's still a part of my quintet for February. Uh, for, for April, rather. So I'm gonna continue using this. It's still going to be a part of my quintet. So this is... Huh. This is Shellier. So it's that one. And then the next one is from my Anastasia Prism palette. And this is one of the three shimmers in my quintet for March. And it is Dimension. So Dimension, and you can see I've hit side pan here. I was trying to do a corner pan, but I don't know. It perhaps it's because my brush can't reach the corner. So I just had to the I just had to compromise and just hit it on the side dimension is now out of my quintet i i just mainly use this as a liner i never knew that orange and something like cool toned purple will match well but with orange shimmer all over the lid and a hint of like lavender purple on the eye on the as a liner it 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 looked cool so that's how I was able to use dimension so that's now out of my quintet and then the last three from my quintet for March is from my I think I love you palette but first of all you can see I removed these two together I scraped them all because I just didn't like them this were they were not a part of my rotation so I'd rather not see them because they were just stressing me out they were I, I didn't like those shadows so why not why was I holding on to them so I decided to just declutter them I was in a declutter phase so yeah so the first one here is this one screw it I used this twice since my last update two weeks ago so not a lot of progress but also that's because I have been focusing more on dimension and on another shimmer so this is still going to be a part of my quintet for April. So this is screw it. So it's that one. It's very metallic. And then the other one is Howdy, which is this dark shade in here. Um, you can see I've hit, I've tried to. I am trying. <laughs> To hit side pan around this area because before the pan was a bit more circular but now it's a bit more elongated because i have been trying very 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 slowly because i only use this as a liner i'm using it today i only i am trying to target this side so it's still a part of my quintet for april So there, these are my three remaining quintet for that are carryovers from March. And the last one that completed my quintet for March was this level up. This one. I actually wanted to do my update a bit earlier, but I was trying to 
pan. I was trying to hit side pan on this one. I will. I wanted to film yesterday, but I did hit pan, so I decided to just um, delay it for one day more. And fortunately, today while I was getting ready, I hit side pan on um, level up. So you can see it is this one, and it's quite a big pan because this um, shade is very metallic. It's very soft. So that's now out of my collection. It's now out of my quintet. So that leaves me with two more spaces to complete my quintet for um, April. Now before we select the two, I also would like to give you an update on my Coco Blend palette because I was in a decluttering phase and I decided to scrape off Bitter Start because I just don't really wear cool toned whites. And if I decided I want to wear cool tone whites, I have the fresh from my sultry palette. And also warm notes, I just didn't like it. I don't have a use out of it, so I just, I, I didn't want it. And then infusion, you guys know I was almost already out of it, so I decided to just completely empty it. So this is now my palette. So with dimension and... A level up from my previous quintet out of the way as well as some of the shadows that I decluttered. I now only have um, 36 shadows eligible for this rotation, for this project. So that's what we are going to choose from. So the first one, so the fourth one that will complete my quintet will be number 24. 24 is from my I think I love you palette again and this is in the shade my type so this is my type I'm gonna change it because I already have the I already have this one this brown shade in here and then I have this one as well and then I also have uh, my panda palette which I'm also doing and I have another I have a lot more browns in here and then I also have Shell, yes, yeah, so I just have too much brown mattes. So I'm going to tweak my rules and choose another one because I just have too much browns. 25. 25 is Sweeter End from my Zoeva Cocoa Blend Palette. And it is this, this palish, coolish, pinkish shade. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it. And again, I also don't use this quite often, but I would prefer this one over like stark white shadow. So I can find a use out of this one. Oops, and it's very soft. So this is Sweeter End. It's going to be a good um, setting shade, even though I don't really set my eyes. But it's like along the family, color family of the quintet. And then the last shade that will complete my April Quintet is number 11. It's in my Anastasia Prism palette. And it is the shade Throne. Throne, Throne. Oh, it's this one. Throne is this green emerald shade with the black, black and base to it. Again, I just I only mainly use all of my colorful shadows as eyeliner, and that's also how I used it before. That's why I hit pan. So I'm close to the side actually. So and the formula of throne is a bit soft. So I'm not, and it has a black and base, so I can use this as an everyday liner even. So I don't think I'd have a hard time hitting side pan on throne. But yeah. It's still soft even I bought this around 2018 and it's still very soft so you can just see how beautiful um throne is it's a it's a welcome change from all of my neutral brownish warms so there that's it for my quintet for April I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my new rules because now you can actually see some progress but yeah, that's gonna go ahead and complete this video. Thank you guys so much for keeping up with this project series. And I hope to see you on my next update. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.